It is what you feed on that determines what sort of faith you have. We will come to a point where we will talk about different kinds of faith. That is a faith that is contrary to God. That is a faith that is in God. The Bible talks about the faith in Christ Jesus. The Bible also talks about faith in men. Those that put their trust, those that trust the arm of flesh. Jeremiah 17. That is a faith in the system of this world. And what the one you feed on determines what you are saying. And what you are saying becomes the reality of your life. By faith, we understand that the words were framed by the words of God. That the things we have seen now were not made out of the things we were seeing, but the things out, out of the things we were not seeing. God has his word and he knows that all those things existed. He just caused them forth. God said, God said, God said, from Genesis chapter 1, God said, God said, God said. All of a sudden, by the end, he said, God saw. What a man is eventually going to see in his life is a product of what he's been saying to his life, about his life, about his life. And what a man is going to be saying is a product of what a man has, what has been spoken to his soul, what he has been feeding on. Faith comes by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. At age 80, Caleb said, give me this one thing. My strength is as when I was 40 years old that we went out to spy Jericho. I said, I'm still strong like that. At age 80, he said, give me this mountain. I can still take the mountain. 40 years later, the man is still powerful. Bouncing by means of faith inside his soul. There are some people already walking like this at age 45. Say, ah, oh, we are grumpy old people. We are forgetful old people. You know, we are old people. You know, when you get, they will not be telling you, when you get to a certain stage, you know, arthritis all over your knees. You know, there are some food you cannot eat anymore. 